and action. Welcome back to my Visual Imperfections channel. I am glad to see this small community showing sign of growth, which motivates me to continue investing effort in creating content for you. I truly aim to inspire you to embrace your creative voice and become a better version of yourself. Uh, today, I want to discuss why, at some point in their journey, every photographer should start creating projects, photo projects, to evolve in their craft. If we look back from the moment photography was born, we can only acknowledge the huge growth and expansion of this visual medium. In today's vast realm of photography, there is a pathway to personal growth and artistic enlightenment for everyone, whether you are a beginner photographer or an experienced one. This pathway can be paved with creativity, exploration and self-discovery. It's really up to you. Starting a personal photo project can also be a part of your journey towards evolving as a creative photographer. In this episode, we'll explore why photo projects are not only useful but also essential to the development and growth of photographers, serving as a stepping stone and a catalyst for personal transformation. Let's be clear. To have a very good photo project, you need to spend a decent amount of time on the planning phase. At the end of the planning phase, you will have a clear, concise plan. If you skip this step, you won't set your priorities right and you won't give your project a clear direction. And it will easily stray, leading to a loss of enthusiasm and interest. So, at the heart of, the ev at the heart of every successful photo project lies a clear vision, crystallized intention and a well-made plan. All this planning is about identifying a theme you are attracted to, a concept you fancy, or a narrative that speaks to your soul and committing to bringing it to life through your lens. By articulating your vision, you not only define the scope and direction of your project, but also infuse it with purpose and meaning. Of course, don't aim uh, for the moon uh, if you are embarking on your first photo project. Instead, pick something more tangible and doable and try to get the hang of the project creating process first. Speaking from my personal experiences, photo projects can serve as playground for creative exploration. Creating a project presents an opportunity to push the boundaries of your craft, expand your artistic horizon, and venture into uncharted territory, actually stepping out of your comfort zone. Whether you are experimenting with new techniques you have just discovered or learned online, or you are exploring different genres you have always wanted to try out but something held you back, embarking on the process of creating a photo project invites you to embrace the unknown, challenge the status quo, and discover the depths of your creative potential. After you have decided on the nature of your photo project, it is your job to set the proper time frame for it. You can opt to make it a short, medium or long-term project according to your lifestyle. You are also responsible for making strategies and tactics according to, uh, according to the chosen time frame uh, for your creative endeavor. If you are a beginner, I would suggest starting with a short time frame for your new project. This short time frame can be a week or even just a, a weekend during which you focus your camera and attention on the subject you have picked and try to explore it to the maximum extent within this short period. The truth is, the longer the time frame you set up for your project, the more steadfast the commitment to focus and discipline you need towards your goal. Embarking on a photo project requires a willingness to dedicate time, energy and resources to the pursuit of your artistic vision. In other words, you are not only a photographer whose only job is to press the shutter, but you are also the art director who needs to come up with creative vision and you are the project manager as well who is in charge of the logistics so your photo projects can happen in due time. In the end, it's all about setting uh, goals, establishing priorities and staying the course even in the face of obstacles and distractions. By cultivating discipline and honing your focus, you not only elevate the quality of your work but also strengthen your resolve and resilience as a photographer. This way you gain valuable experiences that couldn't be bought at the local supermarket, right? Yes, discipline is one of our most important assets, and not only in photography. Allow me to share one of my favorite quotes by Emmanuel James Roth, which sounds like this. We must all suffer from one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The difference is, discipline weighs answers while regret weighs taunts. Let this sink in for a moment. I know from personal experience that photo projects are not without their challenges. 
but it is through overcoming these challenges that we experience growth, transformation, and uh, there are days and days, believe me, I know, when we are not greeted with sunshine and rainbows all the time. But during the execution phase of your photo project, whether you are grappling with technical limitations, wrestling with creative blocks, or navigating the complexities of the creative process, I can say that each obstacle presents an opportunity for learning, adaptation, and self-improvement. After all, stepping out of your cozy comfort zone exposes you to adversities and pushes you to adapt, overcome, and rise to the occasion. By embracing these challenges as opportunities for growth, rather than barriers to your success, you will cultivate resilience, will develop resourcefulness, and gain a deeper understanding of your craft. At its core, photography is a form of visual storytelling, a means of capturing moments, evoking emotions, and conveying narratives that resonate with the viewers on a profound level. Storytelling adds depth and emotion to your photos, making them more engaging to viewers. Humans are naturally drawn to stories and they evoke empathy and connection, allowing us to relate to the subject matter on a more profound personal level. A photograph with a compelling story is more likely to be remembered. When viewers can connect with the narrative behind an image, it creates a lasting impression in their minds. Also, stories have the power to evoke emotions and provoke thought. By incorporating storytelling into your photography, you have the instrument to convey powerful messages, raise awareness about important issues, or even inspire change. Whether you decide to document social issues, explore personal themes, or simply capture the beauty of the natural world, storytelling lies at the heart of every successful photo project. It provides context to your photos, helping viewers to understand the significance of the moments captured. It adds a layer of meaning and complexity, enriching the viewer's visual or emotional experience. Photo projects offer a unique opportunity for self-reflection and self-expression, a chance to explore your innermost thoughts, feelings, and experience through the medium of photography. When starting on a photo project, whether it's themed around a particular subject, concept, or personal narrative, you are committing yourself to a focused exploration. This focused approach allows you to dig deeply into the subject matter that resonates with you personally, prompting introspection and self-awareness along the way. By delving, in, by delving this way, you embark on a journey of self-discovery, confronting fears and embracing vulnerability. Through your images, you have the power to express yourself authentically, share your unique perspective with the world and connect with others on a profound level. Engaging in a photo project often involves observing the world around you with heightened sense of awareness. As you seek out subject, composition, and moments to capture, you may find yourself reflecting on your thoughts, emotions, and experiences. This introspective process can lead to a greater self-awareness and personal growth. Sharing your photo project with others can provide valuable feedback and validation. Seeing how your work resonates with different audiences allows you to gain insight into how your self-expression is perceived and understood by others. This feedback loop can further deepen your understanding of yourself as an artist and as a visual communicator. While photography is often seen as a solitary pursuit, photo projects have the potential to foster community and collaboration. Uh, they can bring together like-minded individuals who share a passion for the craft. Whether you're collaborating with uh, fellow photographers, seeking feedback and uh, support from mentors and peers, or sharing your work with a wider audience, photo projects create opportunities for connection, inspiration, and mutual growth. Uh, surrounding yourself with a supportive community of creatives enriches your creative experience, providing valuable insight and perspectives, and forging meaningful relationships that can last a lifetime. As you reach the culmination of your photo project, take time to celebrate your achievements and reflect on your journey. Even if it was a short-term project or your first photo project, you need to celebrate. I know from personal experience the inner joy when you finish something. You have started and you have overcome insecurities, technical challenges or creative setbacks. Whether your project results in a portfolio of images, a small exhibition or simply a personal collection of photographs, honor the effort the dedication and the passion you invested in bringing your vision to life, because in the process of creation lies the true essence of photography. 
the journey of self-discovery, the pursuit of beauty, and the enjoyment of life itself. In conclusion, photo projects are not just creative exercises. They are transformative experiences that nourish the soul, expand the mind, and enrich the spirit. By embarking on photo projects, you embark on a journey of self-discovery, artistic exploration, and personal growth, as I mentioned to you before. This journey leads not only to mastery of the craft, but also to a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. So, go forth, my fellow photographers, and unleash your inner true creative potential, because your journey awaits you. Maybe you were wondering, or maybe you have already figured out, that the images you saw on the screen during this video are from one of my projects called 52 Weeks. Uh, we can conclude this was a long-term personal photo project, right? At least it was uh, the longest one I ever started back then. So, this project started uh, in the first week of 2016, and the plan was to capture a photo each week throughout the entire year. It seemed pretty straightforward, right? Now, looking back to 2016, I can admit it was an interesting year. I ventured into sports photography and studio photography as well, all the while continuing to teach photography in my hometown on weekends. So, I don't know if you have counted the images, but I never reached my target of 52 photos. I fell short my 20 images. Yes, I failed. But this failure taught me better planning, efficient time management, and setting up priorities in a proper order. Also, this personal project served as an anchor in time, not allowing me to forget my start in my journey in studio photography. I know I failed to reach the end of my project, yet I feel somewhat proud. Curious. A lot of experience and courage were gained in letting out my creative inner voice, and believe me, that year is very much part of who I am today as a photographer. Thank you all for joining me here today. A share, like, or subscribe would be really helpful to my channel, and I truly hope you will start soon a personal photo project. For that, I wish you the best light, and let's get to work and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for being here with me.